Tonight, Miami-Dade State Attorney has launched an investigation after a Local 10 report uncovered some voters had their party affiliations changed without their permission. And all of those targeted are seniors. Local 10's Joseph Ojo is in Miami with an update to the story you saw exclusively first here on Local 10. The entire list of all the voters in the county. In response to an exclusive investigation by Local 10's Glenna Milberg, State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle is promising to investigate allegations of voter fraud, and she announced the activation of a voter protection hotline and task force. Came to my door and they asked uh, if I was interested in voting. You may remember Armando Ernesto and Juan. And then sent me to the Republican Party. All decades long Democrats shocked to find out that after meeting with third party voter registration organizers, they received new voter ID cards with their party switch from Democrat to Republican. That's illegal. It's against the law. Our investigation showing a pattern in which local seniors were targeted, leading to growing calls for an investigation by Democratic candidate for governor Nikki Freed and Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava. On Saturday, the state attorney's office saying an investigation is underway with a statement that read in part, we are aware of recent reports relating to voter registration fraud and we have been investigating these claims for several weeks now as we take these allegations very seriously. Adding, our right to vote and the voting process should always be free from interference and misconduct by others. And that was Joseph Ojo reporting. The Republican Party of Florida responded saying they register hundreds of thousands of voters by the book. And they say they will review these allegations as the state attorney's office investigates. And on our website, local10.com, you can find the number to the voter fraud hotline. So you can call that number if you believe you may be a victim.